Looking back. Andrew Parkinson's come into the game uh, for the first time. He wants him to handle the ball, get the feel of it, and be part of the team. Coach Ken Colliver reasonably happy with the Falcons' effort, though. Yes, but he, he feels that on defence they've got to um, box out and get the rebounds. They won't get too many second shots there. Offensively, we'll see if they can get the ball to Chris Steele, who has a little man marking him. So this, we'll see if they can uh, follow his instruction to get the ball inside. Big three-point attempt by Shane Hill, successful. Yes, uh, ten points to Hill. He's renowned for his uh, three-point shooting as James Bullock makes the drive. John. Let's have a look at that again. Great drive by James Bullock. Dorge never in position. Here it is. It's uh, Bullock on the outside. Uh, Dorge is uh, making his way underneath the basket. Uh, stands his ground. And uh, two points to Bullock. Row, Hill. Out to lock. Good interception by Chris Dill. Peter Harvey out quickly to Michael Johnson to Chris Dill. Oh. Two points to Falcon. After a little walk there, it looked like from Chris Dill. But it's a two-point ball game, 49-47 in favour of the Cats. Yes, Chris Dill saying good speed there. Got out in front of the break and uh, a nice pass by Michael Johnson. Hill again with three. He can't make it. Chris Dill with a rebound. Quickly to Michael Johnson. Four on two. Greg Lazard gets inside. Two points. He's tied up. 49 apiece. Ken Cole on his feet. Now watch that again with uh, Michael Johnson. Uh, nice high ball to Greg Lazard. Plenty of open space. Bobby Locke, uh, no way he could stop that. And uh, Lazard makes the most of it. Parkinson with the ball for the Cats. Lock at the top of the key. Parkinson again. He attempts three. He can't make it. A foul's being called on uh, Darren Rowe. And the Falcons will inbound. A chance for them to retake the lead. In this very exciting ball game here at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre. A small crowd in, it is the long weekend. And of course, a lot of Newcastle people involved in the big basketball competition down in Sydney. So uh, yes, quite a few followers away for the weekend. It's a country championship weekend in Sydney and uh, they're playing at five or six stadiums down there and uh, a lot of people away, Mike. Bullock now, looking for way around row. Can't get around him. Lazard. If looks could kill, gets the two. Well, Lazard's come on, sat off quite a long time and uh, He's come in with a very aggressive attitude, scored three baskets very, very quickly. A big change for Greg Lazard, of course. Uh, only the patrons here have seen him in the bald state in his game so far with the Falcons, but he's uh, shown that uh, there is nothing wrong, and he's uh, now got some hair, but he quickly turns it over to uh, Andrew Parkinson for a quick couple. Now turns it over to Darren Rowe for a chance at another couple. That was a very, very slack inbound by Greg Lazard. Two uh, quick turnovers there. Went too long back in the game, and Dorch uh, makes the most of it. So all of a sudden, after uh, taking the lead, Geelong are quickly back in front. Let's have a look at that uh, inbound by Lazard. Here's the basket. Goes up. Uh, there's Lazard. He, that's the first fumble. Gives the ball away to Andrew Parkinson, who comes back and scores. Now you'll see Greg Lazard inbound. Well, we're not going to see it there, but he uh, inbounded, and Darren Rowe just stole the ball. So Geelong, back in possession. No basket of the Falcons at the other end. Parkinson, looking to get inside the row. Picks out uh, Dawes instead. Three-point attempt by Hill. He's short on this occasion. Parkinson gets the rebound. An easy two points. A good body work in there by Darren Rowe to give his uh, teammate there plenty of room to make the basket. Johnson to Bullock. Nowhere to go. Look, says, come on, Peter Harvey, give us a hand. Uh, Coach King Cole barks some instructions. Bullock setting play down a little bit. Lazard now in the paint, turns it over again, taps it away, and Geelong will inbound. <laughs> and if anything, uh, Greg Lazard, he really can rebound at both ends of the court, but his hand lets him down at times, Terry. He's not a great uh, shooter, but uh, he's got a role he can play out there and uh, really dominate the boards, and uh, that's what he needs to do. Lock. Quickly out to Hill, finding space inside the row. Thought about the shot. Tapped away by Michael Johnson. Three on two, four on two. Michael Johnson gets around Shane Hill for the two. Two-point ball game. Seven points to Michael Johnson. Geelong uh, seemed to have gone a little bit negative, Dave. Yes, uh... The zones are starting to work now. They were pretty confident at first and they were getting an attack in the zone. Now they're a little bit tentative and uh, not hitting the shots. 
They stretch it out to five again with that big three-pointer to Parkinson. Bullock to Peter Harvey at the top of the key. He tries three points. Can't make it. Dawes in there. Oh, yeah. Big outlet pass to Locke. This will be two. Good pass. Great pass, yeah. John Dawes and Bobby Locke. Good teamwork by the two. Let's have a look at that again. And you see here with uh, Dawes going up for the rebound. No one really around him. Lined it up and uh, Bobby Locke very, very quick down the other end makes the most of it. And back to live action uh, right now at the other end. Andrew Parkinson stole the ball for the Geelong Supercats. Gave the pass off to Bobby Locke who made two. So Geelong very quickly skip out to nine. 3.51 left in the first half. Geelong 62.53. Terry, how yeah. quickly does it uh, change this well, game? Well, that's right. It's an amazing game, isn't it? Uh, Newcastle looked to be on a bit of a roll there. A couple of turnovers uh, where the ball was thrown straight to uh, Geelong players. As we go down and listen to Ken Cole and see what he's got to say. To make mistakes and simply give baskets. And also, when they're coming down, Chris, if there's only one man on your side of the floor, he has to be yours. If Johnson goes over to him, then Peter's got two men to cover and he can't cover. So you've got to move up and tell him that you're the only man on that side, so he's your man. And then Peter and, Peter and Michael rotate the one spot. That's what you're not doing. You're not rotating that one spot. Just right, just yeah, yeah, and the rebound yeah. has got to be a five-man responsibility. We've got to have five men in the paint. Not two or three. Everybody. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Some basic lessons to the Falcons. Well, it certainly is. Uh, defensively, uh, really, it's a very poor period of play. And uh, the transition by Geelong was good, I suppose. They got the ball away and put a lot of pressure on Newcastle. And uh, in that period, they just weren't up to it. Dave, Barry Barnes uh, quite happy that his troops have got back on top. Yes, he's happy with that quick uh, spurt, but he wants them to uh, play their offense a little bit better. They're not getting the good shots as you mentioned earlier. He wants them to be a bit more confident and a bit more aggressive on the offensive end. Chris Dill, James Bullock now. Geelong really did have a uh, tremendous chance of going ahead to 11. But Bobby Locke just couldn't handle the uh, pass by Rowe. They've intercepted it again. Beautiful pass out to Shane Hill from Locke. He's got nowhere to go. Gets up to John Dawes. He can't make the two. And the foul is on Andrew Parkinson. And the Falcons will inbound. So the game being played at a tremendous pace. Parkinson doing a good job while Jim Bateman sits on the bench. Yes, uh, good duel underneath the boards. Uh, we see Dawes and uh, Bateman picked up eight rebounds apiece uh, while Phillips got nine. Lazard's also working hard in that area. Falls away the little jumper. James Bullock can't make it. Lazard in there with the offensive rebound. Gets the two. Good tough stuff under the offense. <laughs> Peter Harvey going for the intercept. Couldn't make it. There's the highest scored margins with uh, Newcastle led by two when the score was 51 to 49. Geelong by 12 when the score was 32 to 20. Two and a half minutes left in the first half. Geelong out by nine. Michael Johnson with two. <laughs> Ken Culver rating his players, saying, get in there and get the defensive rebound. Work hard under the bucket. Work hard on the fence, too. They've got to uh, show some aggression out there. So you're just standing still and uh, with your hands up, you've got to be looking to make the move. As Darren Rowe scores nicely on the baseline. Found space again, Dave. Yes, too easy. They've got to deny that pass inside. They can let him get it and then try to defend. They've got to defend first. Bullock. Harvey. Both teams are fielding some of the smallest men in the National Basketball League. Chris Steele now. Gets it out to Bullock. Bullock with three. Short. Johnson. Can't get it. Gets it back into play, but Geelong will inbound. The substitution for Geelong. Jimmy Bateman checks back into the game, replacing Darren Rowe, who served his side well. With uh, just under two minutes left in the first half, Geelong 66-57. Darren Rowe's picked up ten points. Uh, been a good contributor. Looks uh, a couple of player. Bobby Locke calling the shots. Hill with the shot. Can't make it on this occasion. Peter Harvey quickly out to Bully. Oh, there's a carry there. Chris Steele. Hill going for the intercept. Can't get it on this occasion. No one wants the ball. Everyone's standing around. No one, uh, Peter Harvey. There's the inside the bullet. Warning. Bullock Has to get the around drive. them all. Makes the two. 24 points to James Bullock. 
We see Newcastle back in a man-to-man -man defense now. The first change in the game they've had defensively. Before was a bit of a matchup zone. Now they're back straight man-to-man. Block. Michael Johnson now with the ball. The Falcons, good in defense on that occasion, denying lock. Peter Harvey now. Gets it inside to Greg Lazard. Decides to have the shot himself, can't make it. The Falcons will come up with the ball. Chris Dill. Peter Harvey says, just let's settle it down. 41 seconds left on the clock in this first half. Bullock to Michael Johnson. They need to take a good shot here, the Falcons. Peter Harvey. Harvey again to Michael Johnson. They're looking to uh, offload to Michael for the big three points. Greg Lazard, he'll go inside as the 10 second clock goes. And they come up short, but the foul is on Don, John Dorge, I think it is, and Lazard will go to the line to shoot a couple. Yes, take the drive to the basket, so it's a two-shot foul. John Dorge on two personal fouls. It's Greg Lazard, uh, played 12 games, he's averaging 15.9, rebound average 14.4. And uh, good percentage on blocks, 3.5 blocks a game. Makes the first. Shooting 100% so far from the line, the Falcons tonight. And continue that trend. And in the uh, end, Terry, that can just about win your ball game, can't it? Oh, it certainly can. And uh, as we said earlier, their free shot uh, percentage has been very poor. As 15 seconds left on the clock. So it's along with a chance of taking the one shot. Lock now. They can use up all the time. They lead by five. Parkinson with the ball to Hill. They'll be looking for maximum points. Gets it inside to Dorsch. They turn it over. Lazard now. Out to Michael Johnson. Shows it straight over his head. With the time running out in the first half. A golden opportunity for the Falcons. But a very entertaining 24 minutes of basketball. The Geelong First National Supercats lead. The Newcastle Aussie Tapes Falcons. Courtesy of Newcastle Master. But our Man of the Match Award winners will win a magnificent jacket from Newcastle Master. Live action in the second half. Geelong lead by five. 66-61 in a very high scoring game. Darren Rowe with the ball for the Super Cats. Quickly over to Locke to Hill. He has the shot and that's short. Locke gets in there for the rebound. Puts it up. Can't make it. Bullock in there. And so the Falcons have the chance to creep a little bit closer at the start of this second half. Michael Johnson. Screen set there by Peter Harvey. Chris Dill to Bullock. He looks to get around Jimmy Bateman. Chris still tries to set a screen, but he can't do so. He gets the ball back, gets inside the paint, and tipped away by Darren Rowe on the Falcons will inbound. A reasonable start by the Falcons in this second half. They uh, need to come out aggressively. That's right, only trying by five. There's nothing in the game, and uh, certainly they've got to start well. Peter Harvey now just uh, tries to settle the offense. Three-point attempt off the glass by James Bullock. Can't make it. Rebound by Dorge. Hill now. A little bit unlucky to miss out on the uh, Australian side yes. for the World Cup, Terry. He was uh, very disappointed and uh, virtually went uh, with Mike McKay in uh, favour of Hill. I thought they might have got for another playmaking guard and uh, Hill would have got the nod, but uh, he's only young and uh, he, he's going to be available in, uh, in the next Olympics in mean, two years' time, so he's got it all before him. This must have been a toss up. Uh, Greg Hubbard from uh, Illawarra must have been in there yes, with a chance yes, to. Yes, he was close. It's nice. Uh, going into an Australian selection with uh, that quality player that uh, is going to miss out. It's a good sign. Chris Dill, three-point attempt. He can't make it. Dorsch with the rebound once again. Out to Hill. Tapped away by Peter Harvey, but picked up by Rowe inside the Bateman. Loves that position. Turns, shoots off the glass. Can't make it. Dorsch gives James Bullock the big push out. And John Dorsch brings up his third personal foul of the evening. So... Neither side can find the uh, bucket at the start of the second half. John Dorge, uh, three personal fouls, so he's going to have to be a little bit careful. Uh, they need him in there. Looking at the stats for the first half, uh, both teams shooting 51%, which is a pretty reasonable percentage. Rebounds, Falcon 24, Supercat 27, nothing in that. Turnovers, Falcon 10, Supercat 7. And assists, Falcons 10, Supercats 11. Steals 4 to 7, favour of the Supercats. And looking at the actual points scored, we see that uh, James Bullock's got 24. Uh, he's the leader for the Falcons, while for the Supercats, Robert Bobby Locke with uh, 15. Oh, James Bullock uh, got the tap out from Peter Harvey, but he had a foot over the baseline, and Geelong will inbound. One of the, let's have a look at that again. Uh, I think he, he got the intercept, 
very reminiscent of the game uh, against the Canberra Cannons. He thought about the dunk for a little minute, and then he just thought he'd roll it off the hand, came up short, and as he got the ball, he, had, he knew he was in strife there. He had a foot over the baseline. But uh, the Falcons get the turnover at the other end also. So neither player after uh, three minutes, except for Michael Johnson, have found the basket. Dave Ankeny uh, with John Dodge in this situation with three personal fouls. Now would be the time to really attack him. Yes, I would agree with that one. Uh, he's done a great job on the boards for them. So if they can get a fourth one on him, then he's going to have to be sitting on the bench. Row inside of Dodge. There's two points. Oh, now he missed the dunk, but Lazard will get the foul. Line ball decision. Dodge was really going to stick that one away. Yes, Let's have a look uh, at that. Dodge did a good job here going for a dunk because uh, it's very hard to stop him there. And... Uh, Probably got him on the back of the hand after he shot the ball, but uh... so Dorge going to the line to uh, shoot a couple. Yes, Dorge with uh, ten points so far in the game. Gets the first. So Geelong's first points of the second half. Can't make the second. So they've only got a 50% record from the line tonight, Geelong. That could be costly in the end. Wash up. The Falcons shooting 100% from the charity line. <laughs> Harvey, Chris still calling for the ball. Trying to pick up their transition a little bit. Yeah, Greg Lazard, double team, oh. gets the ball out to Bobby Locke. Peter Harvey's there to intercept. Could have been a foul by Locke. Chris still inside the paint. Tries to dish off to Lazard, but Rowe is there to pick up the intercept. Yeah, it's a good opportunity there, but uh, thrown away. Shane Hill now gets it inside of Dorge once again. The Falcons can only stand there and watch the big fella roll it off the hand for a couple. Six points the difference, 69-63 to the Cats. So it'll be a nice double for Geelong today if they could uh, win this one. The Rosie Rules team got up against St Kilda, 112-104 at VFL Park today. So the Falcons now. I think that Hill got that foul there, so that's uh, two team fouls. Michael Johnson inbounds to Harvey, gives it straight back to Johnson, back to Harvey. Trying to pick up their tempo a little bit, the Falcons. Still, Lazard at the charity line, can't make it. Bullet gets the tip in, no he can't. Johnson picks up the offensive rebound, yes. can't make the two, but will go to the line to shoot a couple. Bobby Locke gets the foul on Johnson. That's his first uh, for the game, so there's no problems there. Michael Johnson will go to the line. Bobby Lock in picture. He's got 50 points in his first game in Australia. It's not a bad start, and he'd only been in the country about 24 hours. It's a good way to start. There's Michael Johnson, uh, his full record. Uh, the big thing, he scored over 5,000 points. That's a remarkable effort. Averaged 23 points in those games. 1990, he's averaging 31.5, so lifted his point production this year. Free throws, uh, 80%. And he comes up with the Falcons' first miss from the free throw line tonight. And it had to be Michael Johnson that uh, came up with a miss. But they pull a point closer to the Cats. Lock now. Some fancy footwork and ball skills. Comes up short row. Brilliant rebound, the big fella. He gets the two. There's not much of him, but he's very athletic, Darren Rowe. Peter Hill back in the ball game. Give the uh, Falcons a bit more shooting touch from the outside. Greg Lazard now. Props and shoots. That short two. Rowe gets the rebound. Shane Hill did well there to trap the ball. Goes all the way. Dishes off to Jimmy Bateman. That's two. Good play, Geelong. Interesting situation again, Dave Ankeny. We have seen it at home quite regularly this season. Neil Turner starts the game. He was taken off at the four. 59 minutes of the first term and hasn't been back since. Yes, he, um, yeah, we've argued about this several times and um, I'd like to see him out there if he's going to improve. Hill now. Block. Goes all the way. Gets the two. Timeout call by coach Ken Cole. As Neil Turner, as we speak, is going to check back into the game after this timeout. 6.41 left in the third term. Geelong 75-64.
That's new for those soft out there who like a little group of pussies in the basket. Nobody's going to the board, nobody taking the charge, nobody stepping up on the defence. When we take a switch, it's a half-baked switch, we come over, wave our hands. And you had five chances to pull the lead back in this game when you had them and now you've let them drift away. Just be tough with what you're doing. As soon as every one of you foul out with legitimate contact, then wander around out there bumping into people doing nothing. Play with the fire, get your offence going. Come on! Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more there, Mike. Uh, They've got to show a little bit more desire to win the game. Uh, got to get out and get into it. So, Neil Turner, as we have a look at some stats here, shooting percentage has uh, dropped right off. 45% for the Falcons and the Supercats, 48%. Remembering that 45% uh, uh, the Falcons are shooting over all the season and uh, that's the lowest percentage, so... Bullock nowhere to go. Now gets inside, can't make it. Michael Johnson, great tap in. 14 points to Johnson. We'll see uh, what words uh, from Ken Cole will make them do in the defensive end now. See if they play with a little bit more aggression. Intercepted by James Bullock. Dawes picks it up. Cole screaming at Neil Turner. Dive on the ball. Lock now. Gets around Peter Hill and Peter Hill will get the foul. And Lock will go to the line to shoot a couple. Yes, went around uh, Peter Hill very easily there. And, uh, foul on Peter Hill. Dave, did you ever listen to what Barry Barnes had to say in that last time out? Yes, Barry wasn't happy with his uh, team's rebounding. The Falcons got quite a few offensive rebounds there in the first few minutes, and uh, he was making sure that they do their boxing out, and then even the little guys, Locke and Shane Neal, have a chance to pick up a, the odd rebound. Offensively, he wants to um, let them go back to which they just tried last time, but the Falcons are uh, a bit smarter this time, and they got the intercept, or almost got the intercept. Block now. Second of two makes it. They're out by just 10. Coaching staff of the Geelong Cats. The okay, scores the score by, quarter. by quarters there with uh, Newcastle trailed by four at uh, quarter time, 36-40. By five at half time, 61-66. And at this stage of the game, 64-76. to 76. So uh, we've got to make a 12-point difference. Two points to Michael Johnson. Lock now. Good defence by Peter Hill out quickly on uh, Lock. Gets it out to Hill. Over the baseline, Peter Hill screaming for the ball. He's certainly uh, taking up Ken Cole's comments of saying, get aggressive. Hill to Bullock. Neil Turner into the game. Has the shot. Can't make it. Comes up short. Bateman with the easiest of rebounds. But no one again for the Falcons underneath the offensive board, Terry. No, and uh, I'm always a little amazed that... Uh Neil Turner's taking the shots from a long way out. I'd love to see, you know, if you're seven foot, I think you should be shooting the ball in close to the basket. Good basket there by John Dawes, just uh, outmanoeuvring Neil Turner. 15 points to Dawes. Let's have so a look at this. A good, good battle yeah. between the big fellas. You see uh, Turner playing him in the right spot in front, but uh, good pass over the top and Dawes makes the most of it. Neil Turner that time in better position at the low post and will go to the line to shoot a couple. Well, the thing is, if he's down there and he takes the shot, they've got to actually foul him because he's so tall, uh, even though he hasn't got much weight on. There's Neil Turner's uh, averaging six per game, 1996.2. This is with the first. Dave, uh, Neil Turner seems to be playing with, without uh, confidence at the moment. Yes, he's a, he's a very good shooter, but um, he's certainly been off uh, in all his shots tonight. And perhaps he needs a, um, you know, needs a bit more court time to get his confidence up. Our special guest on Sports Center Sunday tomorrow, Neil Turner. I hope that's not putting him off. As Shane Hill hits with a big three. 81-68. Shane Hill got no conscience, prepared to shoot the three points at any opportunity. Neil Turner. Trying to get involved, trying to get around row, does so, off the glass, can't make it. Michael Johnson offensively grabs the rebound and grabs the two points. Well, the thing is with Michael Johnson, he's got the matchup with Shane Hill, so he could pick up a lot of rebounds in that area. Lost now to row. One-handed, tricky ball work, tries to get around Lazard. Lazard got a hand on it, yeah, good block good. shot. Row regathers. Gets it inside to Dorge, taking on Turner. Stand there, young Neil. Does well. Dorge gets a second chance, and Turner fouls him. Dorge gets the two, and Dorge will go to the line to try and add the extra. 
Inexperience once again coming out from Neil Turner. Only his second personal foul, so here it is as we have a look at it. He did well there. George gets a second opportunity and Turner all over him like a rash. And uh, back to live action. Dorge got the extra. And they lead by 14, the Geelong First National Supercats. Just over three and a half minutes left in the third term. Michael Johnson to Bully. The top of the key, now to the free throw line. Out to Peter Hill, three-point attempt. He makes it. A swisher from Peter Hill. And once again, Dave Ankeny, I would like to see Peter Hill fire up a few more shots. Well, he was settled that time. That was a good pass there from James Bullock, who was covered there, and he had plenty of time for that one, and we know he can shoot. Jim Bateman, in his favourite spot, gets two. Peter Hill now. Three-point attempt again. That's short. Neil Turner, good rebound. Gets around John Dorsch. Well done, young fella. Two good points. Yes, good action there by Turner. Uh, hustled in there and uh, look for the loose ball. As we watch the replay here again, Peter Hill taking the shot off the rim and uh, Neil Turner taking the bit between his teeth, taking the drive and making it two points. So back to live action. Darren Ray were having the drive at the basket. Lazard in the way. And one of the things that Ken Cole spoke about just a couple of minutes ago, Terry, that the Falcons rotation, not terribly good in the game so far tonight. And there we saw Peter Hill having to cover two men. Yes, sir. Uh, Certainly they need to improve that uh, position as Darren Rose's uh, profile comes up there with uh, career average, 21.4, 36 games. 1990 average 23 points. Uh, in 1990, 18.1. So uh, it's down a little bit. Free throws, 68% from the line. See down the bottom there, 8.5 assists. Uh, rebounds rather, 5 assists. And it's had a 25 point high game. So Rowe getting one out of the two, but he's got the ball back. Gets it to Jimmy Bateman, who wasn't expecting it. Bateman gets two points. So they're starting to kip, skip away a little bit. They lead by 14, the Cats. Peter Hill now. Dishes off to Michael Johnson. He has a three-point fly, but he can't make it. Plenty of Geelong blokes in there with a the rebound. I think James Bullock uh, gets the pushing foul on the rebound. And uh, they're in the bonus situation, Geelong, so they'll go to the line and shoot a couple. James Pollock has been uh, fairly quiet in this uh, third term. Hasn't actually scored a point. So Jimmy Bateman having to get the first of these two to get a second chance. Profile on Jimmy Bateman, who really does look like something out of the 60s with that haircut, Terry. Yeah, it's just about year for a haircut, I think. 170 games in the NBL. 3,000-odd points at an average of 20.2. 80 90, average 17.2. Continuing that good form in 1990 at 17.7 7 at 54%. So that's a good percentage. Free throw, 66%. And you can see career rebounds of 8.3. He's had a, a, a high match of 39 points. So good all-round performer, uh, Jimmy Bateman, Dave Ankeny. Yes, Jim's a good all-arounder. He, uh, he can shoot well, he handles the ball well, he plays good defence. You know, he's one of those guys who can do it all. Neil Turner. Bateman, quickly out to Bobby Locke, who did very well to hang on to it. Can't get the two, but he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. The foul's on Peter Hill. That's Peter Hill's second personal foul tonight. Foul on Peter Hill. So Johnny Dorge having a rest now. Yes, uh, uh, Bruce Bruce Holt 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 checks uh, in. 18 points and uh, he's uh, got an excess of 10 rebounds. Bobby Lock at the line. Peter Hill stepping in very, very quickly. He gets the first, unflappable, the little fella. There's uh, Bobby Locke there, eight uh, games, and he's averaging 30.1, so he's a true scorer. And makes the two. <laughs> 93 75 in favour of the Geelong First National Supercats. Michael Johnson now. Back to Peter Hill with the shot. Can't make the two on this occasion. James Bullock in there with the offensive rebound gets the two. His first points for uh, Bullock in this quarter. Lock taking on Hill. He's got some speed, Lock. Gets the shot up, can't make it. Kruger in with a good rebound. Lock's going to get the foul. That'll be a shooting foul. Just a shot, uh, compounded the error by fouling, and uh, 
Grant Kruger will go to the end and look for some uh, free throw. The game just uh, losing a little bit of tempo in this third term, Dave. Yes, and uh, if Newcastle wants to get in this game, they have a minute and 40, and uh, they're going to have to peg their 16-point deficit down to about 10 if they want to have any chance. So the next minute and 40 should uh, say a lot for their chances. Good shot by Grant Kruger. Got another one coming. First points of the match. And Kruger hasn't been getting much court time this year. Shows that uh, he's not too bad from the strip. Hill now. Peter, Peter Hill working hard on Bobby Locke off the ball, but he's got caught for the foul. He's actually held Locke uh, as he's made the cut. So it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Plenty to the referee, but uh, looked a pretty reasonable call. Of course, in the Boehner situation, Jerry, we often uh, see play suspended for quite a while. Uh, when both teams are in periods like this, it really does slow the tempo of the game down. Yes, it does. The uh, got a big advantage here. Lock scores with the first. 21 points for the match. 1.30 left in the third term. Trying to make it to two out of two. Does so with ease. Peter Hill now. Taking on Lock. Michael Johnson, Shane Hill, screen tried to be set by uh, Peter Hill, Neil Turner with a shot, he can't make it, Bateman quickly out the row, intercepted by James Bullock, but the Geelong Supercats will inbound on the defensive half of the court, offensive half of the court, quickly to Bateman, three-point oh. attempt from Gentleman Jim, can't make it. Yes, he's been shooting a very good percentage, actually, in the 60s for his 20 points, 62 percent, so uh, he's a little bit hot at the moment. Turner. Checks out to Johnson. Gets the shot away. Bateman gets the rebound. Foot on the line. The Falcons will inbound. So a change of luck, luck for the Falcons. Peter Hill. Very subdued crowd here at the Entertainment Centre tonight. Bullock. Only two points for this third term. Out to Michael Johnson. Thought about the three. Can't make the two. Neil Turner gets the rebound. Double team gets it out to Peter Hill. Plenty of time. Johnson goes for the same move. Gets it into Grant Kruger in the paint. Can he get the two? No, but he'll go to the line to shoot a couple again. Yes, so we'll see who he's called this foul on. Let's watch the action here again. So uh, Michael Johnson takes the baseline drive, uh, realises that he's under the basket, uh, gets the ball into Kruger, and you can see uh, the Geelong player reaching in there, Bruce Holtgren. Grant Kruger scores the first, you can see his average there, uh, only two points a game, hasn't been getting much court time. Well, uh, you can't score a basket thrown it over your head, Terry. <laughs> slipped out of his hand. <laughs> slipped out of his hand, so... What, what, what is the call there? Barry Barnes on his feet saying, uh, is it play on or what? Like he was in the motion of uh, having a shot that's and it just came out of his uh, yeah, well, hand at the back. That's very interesting. I've never seen that happen before. What do you think the call should have been there, Dave Ankeny? Play on? I'd have no idea. <laughs> Sideline eye, Dave Ankeny. <laughs> I'll have to read the referee's book on this one. Shane Hill with the ball. 15 seconds, uh, Mike, so he's playing the clock down. They lead by 14, the Cats want to get away. Good shot here. Get the two if possible. If the three's there, oh, they'll yes. take it. Row, uh, lock it is inside for two. Three, three seconds left on the clock. Peter Hill will have to have a shot from halfway. Decides to throw it out. About three goes at that. Yes, it's Falcon's ball from the side. Dave, you were at the uh, three-quarter time huddles. What are the instructions by both coaches? Well, I didn't hear Coach Barnes, but Coach Cool was uh, confident that his troops, he said, if you can play three or four minutes good basketball and get back in this game, not to try to do it all at once, just try to get back in slowly with six minutes to go, cut the margin to about eight, and then it's anyone's game. So he's still confident that his troops can get out there and uh, pull up what would be a major upset now. Let's have a look at the uh, higher scores. 
Yes, uh, for the Falcons, uh, James Bullock with 26 and uh, Bobby Locke with 24. Great rebound by Chris Dill for two, right over the top. So good start for the Falcons in this final term. Double points, double uh, figures for...